I can't remember the name of the actress. I'd, I'd have to look it up. But she was a live television actress. And then, you know, they figured out that they could do tape and they could do film. And then they could do it out in California. And so she was doing all this great stage stuff in New York. And she told me that when they moved TV to California, the first thing they did was fit her for a pair of falsies because they wanted her to look good on the screen, which was something nobody gave a damn about in New York City. And to her, that was the difference right, right there. Um, the, the, the early live days were all these young actors and that doing what they call kitchen dramas mostly because they would save on sets. It was really cheap to do and they could they didn't have to move the cameras around. Suddenly when everything went to California and went to film, you know, you had all these vistas and all these cowboy stuff and all of these it wasn't about character anymore. It was just, you know, about the setting. Uh, the early live dramas were kitchen dramas about character, Marty, you know, um, stuff that Patty Chayefsky did, this stuff that um, uh, Reggie Rose did, 12 Angry Men, all these 12 jurors in a room. It was just all about character. It was cheap and easy to do. They, they couldn't do any, they, you know, it was live TV. You couldn't take the cameras outside, right? So they had to just focus on one or two different sets and figure out how to make that work. And they did it by hiring all these great young writers who knew how to write character. You know, Horton Foote and Reggie Rose and these amazing, you know, really was a golden age in that sense about, about people. And then of course it, you know, shifted out west and it, everything changed. Um, and again, that's sort of a, you know, part of the arc, the arc of the story. And, you know, you loved all the the story, everybody had a great live TV story, you know, somebody would get shot on stage and, you know, and then they'd get up and walk off after they were dead, you know, in front of the camera. Um, you know, people would forget their lines and, you know, they didn't know what to do. And, uh, they, I, you know, I love that stuff. I mean, everybody eats that, all, all those stories up. Um, but uh, mostly I love talking to the writers about, you know, creating, Again, they were creating this medium, right? Like just uniquely television, just one or two sets, and the camera would focus in on these people and on, on, on this drama. And, um, you know, for a few years, it was amazing. I, I occasionally I watch them and they, they hold up. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit of overacting here and there, but <laughs> for the most part, they hold up.